In this video, we're going to set up a slightly more complicated health system um, where we both gain and lose health. Uh, if you're just looking for a simple um, health video, the other one is the one to have a look at. So as you can see, our rocket moves around and can collide with an astronaut. So what we're going to do at the start when we create our object player is we're going to set the variable for them. So over here, I type VAR for variable and we're going to set that to 100 because that's all the health that they're going to have and when we type in health there you'll see that this built-in variable of health comes up as you would have heard in the other video you can use the built-in health system here to control this variable but i found that it isn't working on my mac which is why i'm doing it this way so we start off with our health and now let's make that show up on the screen so using our projector object i'm going to create an event called draw there it is. And in that drawer, I'm going to show this variable. So here we go. It is health. And what I'm going to do is use the value, of course, of health. And I'm going to show it at 10, 10. So at the moment, this isn't going to change dynamically. It will just sit there as 100 in the corner of the screen. I'm just testing often to make sure that my program is working. So there you go. It's actually 200, which presumably is because that's what I typed in. So let's go back and have a look. Uh, let's see. Our player object sets it to 100 relative. Okay. So it should just set it to 100 normal when the game starts. All right. Let's have another look at that because again, you really cannot contest your game too much. Give it a quick run and see that it's behaving like you think that it should. There we go. There's my health of 100. Fantastic. And that, that's not changing at all. Well, what I want to do is I'm going to tell it to basically lose health every second. And then when I hit the astronaut, I'm going to gain some health. So with my player, when it starts, I'm going to set this alarm. So there's the alarm. And think of this like an alarm clock. So it's alarm zero, and I'm going to set it to 60 frames, which is a second. Fantastic. Okay, so I've set this alarm, which is alarm zero. Now, what do I want to happen every time this alarm goes off? Well, one thing that I'm going to want to do is I am going to want to reset that so that it'll count it every time. So I'm going to count that again to 60 so that it'll go off again. But I also want to change that variable. So there we go, the variable. Now, what's the variable I'm using? It's health. So HEA, there it is. And I actually want to take some health away from the player. So I'm going to make it minus 10 relative. So every second, they're going to lose 10% of their health. Okay, and let's just see, am I showing this on the screen? I'm pretty sure I am. Fantastic. Okay, well, let's see if this actually works. Let's see if every second I do lose um, some of my health. There we go. And in actual fact, as we expect, every second I am losing some of my health. Fantastic. Well, at the moment, I can actually lose that health and go under, and it doesn't matter. So let's set up a consequence. So again, in the object projector, I'm choosing... No, sorry, not the object projector, the object player. I'm choosing that because it's there for the whole level. Um, I'm going to use the step, which means that it'll check at 60 times a second. And again, I'm going to check this variable. So if variable health, there we go. If it is what? Well, if it is less than one, then I'm going to restart the level. And up here, I'm just going to type in uh, RES for restart. So basically, when I run out of health, it's going to reset the level. All right, let's check if that works. Again, I'd really encourage you to make small changes and test your code often. Okay, there we are. So I'm running out of health. And at this point, I've actually got no way to replenish my health. So it's just going down and down and down. And when I get there, I restart the level. Okay, so let me give myself an opportunity to get health. So when my player object collides with the object astronaut, I've already got that collision and it makes the astronaut move to a new point. But while we're at it, let's change this variable of health. And I'm going to give myself 13 points of health relative. Now, 
I probably don't want to be going up if I'm already at 100. Uh, actually, you know what, I can live with it. But we, we could set a test in there that if you already had a certain amount of health, it wouldn't give you any more. But let's just run it in its simple form. So, run. There we go. We can see my health going down. There we go. And every time I hit the astronaut, I get myself some more health. So I could do this to see how long I could stay alive. And in actual fact, I didn't stay alive very long at all because I kept... Um, there we go. So you'll see I'm actually getting over 100% of health there. But sometimes I have to travel further to get to the astronaut. Uh, and that makes life a little bit more complicated. And actually, you'll notice also that I have got the player disappearing off the screen if I want. So anyhow, that is um, how that works. And that is a working health system where the health both goes down and up.